r slash neckbeard stories by Redmond Dietis. The teacher in making neckbeard. Hello. I am in my second year of university and hope to be an elementary teacher. This profession in our country is hugely, over 90%, female dominated. Thus in our whole school we have three guys, one of which is in our year. But there is this guy, neckbeard who is actually 5th year, failed so many exams he will need more years to finish, the uni is 4 years originally, and he is in our year for several subjects, including children's literature where we talk about personal stuff for some random reason, the prof is the type that thinks we are friends but doesn't give you the chance to want to be friends. I am 20, attractive, sorry, not sorry, and what neckbeards would classify as a nerdy girl, a care ride game and watch series, read books. This guy is huge, sideways and up and he stinks. Like, I could be sitting several seats away and I can still smell him. Sadly most male attention I get is creepy, so I developed a strategy I call mention my boyfriend. Basically if a guy starts flirting I mention my boyfriend in the convo somewhere. Usually works. Not with neck beard. From the first class we had together he heavily followed me sitting next to me and forgetting his book all the time so he would need to lean in close to see mine. We have to wear masks in uni, and have never been so glad for it. He stinks like a dead body. Makes me want to literally gag. He would also make creepy comments about himself and my during class. One time we had to tell what we would give each person in the room, as a stupid game. We don't really know this guy, but we know he is always late and does make sad uni. So we gave him things like calendars, watches, planners and so on. His turn came and he gave everyone generic things like books, chocolate and so on. And he said he would give me a ring. Not. Freaking. Kidding. A ring. I looked at him awkward and confused and the professor cheered this on. Saying how cute we would be. I laughed awkward and feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, no I actually have someone else giving me a ring. But thanks. He and the prof, she is way too horny to be a teacher, kept pushing the joke and it was just terrible. He came up to me after class and told me I should have told him I have a boyfriend before we got so involved. I must have looked stupid, because I was shocked. Involved? With what or who? I don't think we are involved. I said and tried to move on to the next class but he followed. What do you mean? You kept giving me hints. What the hell? Now it was my turn to say. What the hell? I didn't. He proceeded to tell me that me talking about my gaming and Lord of the Rings addiction in class was basically me telling him how much we have in common and that I shouldn't be whoring around if I am already taken. I went into the bathroom and he couldn't follow. The next week he came up to me after class, where he finally didn't sit next to me and told me he looked my partner up on Facebook. I told him that I find it very weird that he would do that, and that I did not give signs and he should move on from his own confusion. Info needed here. My boyfriend is a tall guy, but thin lean, with no extra muscle besides what he uses. I could go on and on about how much he is my type, but nobody wants that. He is what you would consider universally attractive. He told me how my boyfriend is a bundle of sticks and a skeleton and how would he ever protect me. I got mad. Like mad. Nobody gets to BS on my partner. Told him that my partner is not a skeleton. He just isn't fat and luckily, he knows where the shower and deodorant are. Then told him to leave me alone or he will have problems. I dunno about these problems. Not like the university would care. Just wanted to sound scary. And left. Now whenever we are in class he protests by sitting as far as possible. I can't say I am sorry. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. Kitos.